<laughs> Woo. Good morning, adventurers. It is cold out there. Oh, yeah. Guys. I think it's maybe 10. No, above. today it might be 20. Oh, it's 20. Well, I don't know. Our temperature in here is always yeah, off it's a gotta bit. It's got to be colder than that. But it is snowing like crazy. Oh, yeah. it's been beautiful though this morning. But we are leaving Alaska Haven. Uh, we are heading into Fairbanks. We're going to stay there for a couple nights. And I'm really excited because today we are supposedly going out on some snowmobiles. Hell yeah. Or snow machines. I don't know what the appropriate thing is. I think they call both. them both. But we've been seeing everyone. People like go to the store on those things. They're just like driving alongside the road in yeah. their snowmobiles. So yeah, we've never done it before. So never. I'm pretty excited about it's it. It's going to be amazing. And then we are going to the northernmost brewery in America. Yes. Boom. Silver Gulch. First up, we are going to head and get some coffee. Yes. Warm up, please. Let's get the hell out of here. Can you see, though? Nope. Can't see anything. Oh, man. You can see the backup, right? It'll fall off. I got a backup camera, so I think I'm good to go. Turns out our tire pressure is low. Our car was screaming at us and giving us a bunch of information notices and warnings. So I went in, got a big old hose, and I'm gonna air these suckers up. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, I know what I'm doing here. Yeah. You're pretty lucky. blizzard with him. That was straight oh. blind driving. That was terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. It's properly coming down here. That was easily the most difficult driving I've had to do in my life. I couldn't even see anything, honestly, <laughs> most of the time. It's pretty insane. Yeah. Oh man. But we made it here. We got a parking spot right in front. <laughs> We're gonna go warm up with some coffee. We've arrived at the cafe, it's called Venue. Um, it's actually right next to the tap room we were at the other day. But uh, I got a cafe au lait. It's a lot cheaper than a latte, and it pretty much tastes like a latte to me. It's just uh, coffee and steamed milk. Sir. <clears throat> well, I got the real latte, and I think it's delectable. <sighs> <laughs> We just got these three bean chili waffles here. Never heard of this before, but I think it's just a big waffle and then a little bowl of chili that you pour all over it. Yeah, we both got the same thing because it sounded so interesting. Oh, yeah. It's a cornbread waffle. Oh, that's yeah, what that's it is. It. A cornbread waffle with chili. This is probably too big of a bite, but that's okay. Well, I think waffles are my new jam. Like, I know these are very unconventional, but I think we just need to get a freaking waffle maker. These are so good, you guys. If we ever get a place, we're for sure getting a waffle maker. I'm gonna make every kind of waffle in the world. <gasps> this is insanely delicious. The cornbread is like really sweet. It's got, you can see like corn chunks in there. And then the chili is really nice. It's not overly like spicy or anything. Oh man. We are back at Alaska Haven. We're meeting up with Simone and her family again, and we're gonna go out snowmobiling. They have the, the snowmobiles all set up over there. Yeah. Burn like kittens. Pretty excited, are you yeah. excited? Oh my God, I can't wait. And they hooked us up. You guys, look at us. We're like Alaskans now. We yeah. have snow pants and boots. Yeah. And freezing. <laughs> This'll do the trick. Yeah. All right, let's go snowmobiling. I can't wait.
we've driven to this sick little spot in the middle of the woods. Absolutely beautiful out here, guys. This is awesome. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, Got a fire cooking over here. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. We have our hand warmers in. Yeah. We have our boots cool. and everything. <laughs> Y'all, this snow, did you already show them how uh -uh. like deep it is? Check it out. <laughs> so that's there, right? But even on this trail, like look how deep you go yeah. still. This is all just packed in, but you'll go yeah. right, right down there. But it's crazy. It's like yeah. feet deep. <laughs> Maybe the most snow I've ever been in. Yeah. Guys, this thing, this little tin down here, you said it's called a hot dogger? It's called a hot dogger. And so, I can show you where it goes on my snow machine when we ride. Yeah. Okay. So he told us you put it in the snow machine snow machine, and it'll heat up if you ride it enough and it'll cook the food. That's amazing. Yeah. That's so resourceful. We're cheating right now though. We're putting it in the fire. We didn't drive fast <laughs> enough. Yeah. Yeah. We have cinnamon roll hot chocolate. It's really it steamy. smells so good. I know. Don't burn I'm, your lips. Yeah, I'm not gonna try it just yet though. But look at this. <laughs> we had an amazing time riding the snowmobiles with Simone and her family. So much fun. Yeah, that was amazing. If you guys ever get the chance to do that, definitely do. And they're just amazing people they're in general. They're so sweet and nice and they're so helpful and resourceful. Yeah. It's very cool. Yeah, it was great. Awesome experience. Yeah. Um, we're actually on the RX100 night now because, so one thing you have to watch out for in these cold temperatures is your camera getting a condensation on the lens and on the sensor on the inside. Yeah. So I learned this tip that you take your cold camera and put it in a plastic bag, a big old bag, and the condensation, if it builds up, will happen on the bag and not on the camera. So you can see this camera is ice cold. It's like a hunk of ice right now, it but is. there's no condensation on the uh, front of the lens. But the minute I take it out of this bag, it fogs up immediately. Yeah. So clever little hack if you guys ever have uh, sub-zero temperatures <laughs> yeah, we and were, really nice equipment. We were a little skeptical, but it seems to be working just fine. So that's sweet. Also, we've been using these little hand warmers. These guys, we bought them for like four for $2.50. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. Yeah. I got them in my boots right now because my yeah. feet are freezing. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Put them in your boots and in your hands and you'll be, I mean, you'll still be cold, but you won't get frostbite probably. We are on our way to Silver Gulch, which is the northernmost brewery in America. But in the North Pole, they actually have Santa Claus's house, as you would expect. Mm -hmm. And that's where it's we are now. Usually this whole place is all hustling and bustling, I guess. But since it's, you know, five feet of snow, no one's really out here. But the reindeer are out, so we're gonna go take a look at them. These guys are just laying in the snow. <laughs> Those ones back there look like they've been asleep for so long yeah. that there's like a layer of snow on them. This one's just laying in a pile of snow and doesn't care one bit. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, but it's freezing out here, so we're gonna get back in the car and <laughs> go grab some beer. We have arrived to Silver Gulch, America's northernmost brewery. We ordered a couple beers. I got the, what did I get actually? A lager, right? Fairbanks lager. Yeah. And what did you get? The Coldfoot Pilsner. Coldfoot Pilsner. Yeah. All right. Oh, yes. Does it taste like it's from the America's northernmost? It tastes very Alaska. Like there's some crab and some moose and reindeer in there. I get the essence of moose, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. We came to the back of the brewery to check out the operation but I think all the lights are off. I don't think they're really doing much right now, but check this out. This is their, uh, all their canes hooked up to the bar. That's pretty nice. I've actually never really seen I've, the yeah. back of the house, how they actually hook up the beer to all the taps, but that's, that's insane. Cool. That's but like a bunch of electrical wiring. Yeah, you can come back here and I think you can get your own beers from back here. So the prices here are a little bit up there. I stuck with uh, the cheapest thing on the menu, the uh, burger, but it looks amazing. I went with the pepper jack cheese on top, and then I think below the burger there's some kind of uh, delicious mayonnaise or something like that, but it looks really good. And then I went with the Cajun seasoned fries. 
Those are looking really good as well. I yeah. think they're going to taste real good. Apparently, you could also do like Parmesan fries or maybe just regular like salt and pepper. Yeah. But Cajun sounded awesome. The fries are delicious, as expected. I actually smelled these as I walked in and I was like, whatever that is, I want it. So we've got pickle, tomato, lettuce, all the classics. This bun actually looks really awesome. Yeah, it looks really nice. It's good. That is surprisingly a really good burger. I ordered a medium. It's really oily and juicy. Pretty much perfect. I mean, it's nice and simple. The pepper jack was a good idea. You know, they have like five different types of cheeses. I was sitting here for like 10 minutes trying to decide which one, but I think I made the right call. And I got their famous uh, beer cheese soup. And y'all, it has reindeer sausage in here. I've never had reindeer sausage before. I've had reindeer meatballs, never sausage. I have no idea what it's gonna taste like, but everyone that we talked to recommended this soup, so I had to get it. You're taking care of business. I'm taking care of the soup business. That is delicious. The soup is like, even though it's beer cheese, it's not super thick, which is kind of nice. And the sausage, this reindeer sausage is really like peppery and it's not overwhelming, but I kind of like it. It's like black pepper in there or something, but it is perfect. Oh, and it comes with this huge braided pretzel. Well, oh, it really smells good. so good. You gotta dip that in there. Yeah, okay. Magic. This is how we do it now. <laughs> We've made it back home safely. The roads were pretty treacherous. Well, yeah, I'm starting to get used to it, pretty bad. I think. At least it wasn't dark, yeah. that was nice. But we've actually switched locations. We're staying in this quaint little studio above this family's home. They are super nice, you guys. They came and greeted us at the door, walked us to the place, answered all of our questions and stuff. Yeah, they made yeah. sure it was snowing like crazy and super windy and they were like shuffling the walk for yeah. us. Sometimes so you nice. just get a vibe when you show up at an Airbnb. You're like, this is gonna be a good place. But this place is great. It's the kind of place they just have all the amenities figured out. They have oil for cooking. They have a washer and dryer in there. Yeah, they have little they, like tea and coffee already here. Yeah. Stuff so that you yeah, can like feel at home. This little bowl here had little yeah. granola bars and some fruit. Oh yeah, it's the little touches, you know, that really make the it's experience. It's so nice. But so th we'll give you guys a quick look around. It's, a, it's just this main area. So we have the living room area here. And then we have the studio kind of area, the sleeping area back there where we've been dreaming away. Ooh, but it also has a huge washer and dryer yeah. back in there. Washer and dryer. And then a full yeah. old bathroom yeah. in there. That's a bathroom. Which is nice. Yeah. It's a very cozy it's place. So it's located like right between Fairbanks and the airport. Mm -hmm. So it's really uh, well located, very affordable, very good place. So we highly recommend booking this place. We'll have the link to this place in the description below. We'll always also have the link that we've mentioned before that will give you a discount on your first day and then a discount on our next day. So help us, help you. It's win-win. A win-win. Yeah. But I think that that's about all for today. That's that concludes our adventures up here in Fairbanks and the North Pole. Yeah. We're going to head down to Anchorage. We're going to do the drive again, and then we're going to do some more fun stuff down there. It's going to be cool. Oh, yeah. I think we got some glaciers in the pipeline, oh, some yeah. some more reindeer, maybe up close and personal with them. Woo! Yeah. I cannot wait. But we are pretty exhausted from being so chilly all day. So I think Eric's got a little bit of a vlog to edit. I got some plans to sort out, and then we're going to chill and watch this big old TV. We watched Dumb and Dumber last night. It was perfect. It was just randomly on TV. It's yeah. such a good movie. Oh, it's so good. It's so <laughs> ridiculous. But good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.